Where is Chris? Hey yo, I'm late, I'm late again. I'm here in Makati heading to Purveyor Post. Inside is Bea, AKA Butter B. Let's roll. So with all the goods here, they, uh, this is all local goods, which is like a really, really dope thing. So having a spot where people can come to to buy and support these local brands, how do you feel that really, really benefits the culture in a good way? Definitely, dude. Like, um, most of these um, brands, they usually just like sell online or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's so dope that now you can like step in one spot and just like, you know, see what like there's like probably like 20 brands. 20, here, like yeah, 15, there's a lot. 20. There's a lot. Yeah. Like, shout out to Malaya, Barrick. Yeah. Yo, let's <laughs> go. Some liquor here. in here. What can we, what can uh, we see in that you have, know and that you're connected to well, maybe or of know of? Of course, like Bastard. Bastard, yeah. my homies. Meme Nino, you hey. know what's up. Uh, Every everyone has dope stuff. Twelve Paths here, Tenement, Animal, oh, Breakless, Revere. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're a Davao brand, right? Yeah. Did I, I get that so. right? Yeah. So Shout it's pretty cool. Here. See, it's like everyone is yeah. Is here together. And, yeah. And I guess like the dope thing that I can see with all of this is that you know obviously there is a competition element when it comes to selling goods right mm -hmm. but if you're all like selling streetwear to have it all in one place it kind of unifies oh, the scene as well and like right? i feel like competition it's not really a big thing anymore to be honest yeah. it's more of like as long as you bring in like good designs yeah. as long as you know like you have a good concept in mind and you really stick to like your intention for your brand and yeah. that's that like you don't there's no competition because no one's really like it's, Another brand is different from another brand, you yeah. know, like no brand is the same. So you build on your brand, you make it dope, and yeah. that's it. Like there's no fucking People buy the goods because exactly. everyone's got to eat and the businesses yeah. keep going. Share with us like some cool memories of how you even got into streetwear. Maybe like a first purchase or a favorite shirt that, that made you continue to support this culture moving forward uh, just throughout life now. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not more of like one item. I feel like for me, like my memory of streetwear is was because I danced. Yeah. Or I still dance, but like because like I used to dance on um, street hip hop. Yeah. Since I was like 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. So ever since I was always a girl with baggy clothes. I even had like my fucking like hair shaved, with like big, big fro. Like, yeah. I was very yeah. Like all my friends were in ballet flats and girly tops, and I was. Because I was dancing, it just came with the lifestyle. With the you know, lifestyle. Like, that's how you that's how you dress yourself. And that's you know? it. And and for those people that are out there that want to support local brands, I mean, if you don't live a certain lifestyle that's connected to the street culture, it's still okay, right? It's still dope, yeah. Right. I mean it's for everybody nowadays. Right. There's no like one niche, like right. there's no like like, oh you could only wear this because you skate, or right. you could only wear this because like you're a b-girl a dancer yeah like now it's kind of for everybody which is i mean it's pretty cool like i'm i'm about it yeah i mean it's just like okay for people that are watching that are part of the skate world right you have a brand like thrasher right and you have this people too sensitive, when man. people wear <laughs> when people wear thrasher that don't skate you have people out there that are just hating like oh why are you wearing that why are you wearing that but here's how i see it like I've been a basketball player since I was a little boy mm -hmm. and I collected Michael Jordans. I still buy Michael Jordans, but it's like if you buy Michael Jordans and you don't play basketball, like we can't hate on you for that. Yeah, it's just I mean, maybe you like the design, maybe you like the comfort, maybe you like the coolness. So yes, everything is for everyone, man. And in the end, it's all about just like if someone supports your brand, then that's that. You're right. not picky about like who buys what. It's just like it's more of like... Everyone I mean, needs you, clothes, man. You accept love, you give love. That's all there is. That's what it is, man. One, four, three. Hey. Mm -hmm. So we are here at Purveyor Post. And before we take off and walk around on the streets, I do want to give a quick shout out to the hardworking barbers from Slick Barbers. We got Ryan right here. What's up, Ryan? 
and the man Pikes working hard. So if you need a cut, come through, have a good time, check out some local goods and get a nice little fade and haircut so you feel good about yourself and have a good day. So Bea, mm -hmm. let's take off from here. Yeah, okay. We are in Makati, an area called Bangkal. Do you know much about this area? No, actually not. So I'm down to just like see what's up. Let's see what's up. I don't know anything about it either. So let's go. Let's keep it exciting. Yep. So I'm here with Bea walking around Bangkal. And we came across a dope thrift store right behind us. Right here. So we're gonna go in, kind of excited to see what they have, you know. Um, they have a bunch of goods I can see from here. So let's go inside and explore. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Got some vinyls. See that ashtray? ashtray. Uh, look at that bottom. Let me see the bottom. Oh, cool, look at that. Ooh, ooh. We want to know a little bit more about you. And from what I know, because off camera we are homies and friends. Yeah. Um, but I know you come from a dancing background, mm -hmm. right? So talk to us about that, how you just started dancing back in the day and how that transferred over to you wanting to dance and perform and learn routines. Actually, like I've been dancing my entire life. Yeah. Yeah, so like um, I started ballet when I was five. And then um, I did some folk dance for okay. school. So from ballet from to ballet folk? ballet to folk dance. Uh -huh. And like, like I was like balancing art. baskets in my head, oh. like a fugao dance, oh. like, like shit like that. But. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I did street dance back in my hometown uh -huh. in Bukola and Hala. Hey. Uh, City of Smiles. Mm -hmm. You've been there, right? Been there. You've been, been to, to my spot Been too. to Mama's house too. <laughs> Shout out Mama. Uh, yeah, so from that to street and then when I moved here for college um, in Benil, they got me to be a part of their official dance team. Um, yeah. Yeah, Roman Sean. Yeah. So I competed with them, I danced with them, and I would always just go out in clubs and all that and just basically dance. Like, I'd be the random girl in the middle of the dance floor dancing. Just getting their groove yeah, on. Yeah, and I don't mind. That's like, that's how you usually do it. Let's just check out what we see. Mm -hmm. This is so not me though, because like I'm the type of person that is not a hoarder. Yo, where the like black that. lights at, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so dope. Cool. Oh, Hendrix? what you got there? Hendrix? Hendrix, Ooh. baby. This is bomb. Do you ever own a pager? Is that I, a thing? Was that a thing here? Where you not call me, and like but, pages? My, but, but my parents did. And always like, yeah, I always kind of like played with it. While Bea is looking around behind me, I saw this over here. So if you can't find any goods for your house, you got Kanye in here, man. So even if you don't find nothing, you got Kanye. What's life without Kanye? Yeah, got the white rice. You know this shit is legit. Ooh, another cuss word. Beat that out. Yo, it was 1,500. 1, then brought it down to 1K, 1,000. Then brought it down to 800. So we good with that price, yo. Here you go. Not only am I a host of a show, and not only do I rap, but yo, yeah, I'm an ATM. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get it withdrawn. Sorry. <laughs> you got a bag. Thank oh, you. Cash money. Yep, we're done. I got an ashtray. Yeah. You know, I mean, I don't smoke cigarettes, but. Good. We got a good pickup. Yep. We got a silver ashtray, right? Um, it looks like there's other like thrift shops in this area. There's one across. One the across the street. Yeah. Um, let's hit that up too. Yeah. Okay. This color, I okay. On the chaps. No. Hey, but a be also my stylist. Looks good. So we finished up our little journey slash tour around Bangkal. So many dope goods, so many thrift shops. Uh, the locals are walking the street. Uh, it's nice and peaceful. Sun is going down and the weather feels cool. I'm hungry. Bea, yeah, I should we get food? Coffee? Yeah, coffee? Coffee, and food. coffee and some food? Coffee and some food? We gotta go because we gotta keep going. Let's go. Back up. Thank you. Very 
Grab Black Hub. Cool little menu. And before you get on. When it's big shows. Yeah. When it's, you know, when it means a lot to me or it's an event that I really like, that I really want to kill, you know, like yeah. on my set, like I, I prepared for it, you know, right. and I get, then I get a little nervous. But yes. once I'm there, the thing is, is with dancing or with music, like mm -hmm. once I'm there and I'm, I've started my set or I've started dancing, yeah. I'm, I'm cool, like. That's dope. Yeah. Right. So you just do you. I mean, someone out there would love it. Someone out there mm -hmm. might not dig it as much, but you know, right. like that's. That's what you have. That's that's your work, you know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, as performers and artists, mm -hmm. of course we do it for ourselves because we're the ones putting on the show and showing people what we have. Mm -hmm. But it's really just about the people at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. To give them a good show and sharing. give them a good time and sharing. It's all sharing. It's all sharing. It's sharing. Don't I forget, put put sharing. content out. Believe in yourself, and it's all about sharing, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And with sharing, let's go back to these nachos. I will share these nachos. With you, <laughs> Had to use the bathroom. Bathroom's through this cool wall. So out on my left, there's an opening, and I heard there's an art gallery inside here. So let's check this out. Yo, this is dope. So imagine you just want to get a nice cup of coffee, get a quick snack, and while you're waiting for your food and your drinks, you can appreciate nice local art here. Oh, it says, smoke gets in your eyes. That's true. Cloudy vision, throw that out the window. Yo. Now we're here, the studio. Inside of these doors right here, we got the Street Queens event. It's an all-female dance showcase and all-female lineup when it comes to the DJs. So, if y'all like girls and you like music and dancing, we gotta go straight to there. Come with me. So we're inside right now at the studio. Big Butter B setting yeah, up I'm just on Dex. Okay, so this first episode of season two of On This Island is coming to an end. We would like to thank the lovely Bayate Butter B for being a part of this whole experience. Did you have some time? Of course. It's like, it was my pleasure. Dope. Anytime, so man. Mm -hmm. yes. So now, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to head in the battle. I'm DJing for the battle. So I'll see you in class. She can do what she does best. Peace, y'all.